Hey guys, welcome to Tiana Blanco channel and I am here to tell you start your business today sis. Whether it's you having to do your research for you actually writing uh, plans and your set goals. Uh, whatever it is that regards your business that you are procrastinating on, I'm going to say go ahead and let's just jump into it. You know why? Because we are quarantining right now and we might as well utilize this time that we that we have in the house. When someone see your logo, they should affiliate it with your brand. Logo, I'm going to show you. It's Tiana Blanco and I'll leave it somewhere on the screen. But this is my logo and I love it because when someone sees that logo, they should automatically know, hey, that's Tiana Blanco. Um, when you see, hmm, okay, when you see Nike, a check, we automatically know, hey, that's Nike, without it having to say Nike. So that is the point of a logo. It's for branding purposes. Now, where do I get my inspiration from when it comes to making a logo? I usually go on Etsy, and um, there are so many creative people that do logos, so I kind of get a different style on there um so it all depends on your preference so enough talking you are gonna watch me screen record what i am doing on my phone and i'll do a voiceover explaining step by step what i am doing now we're gonna download pixar and you don't have to make an account you can just bypass all of this by hitting the word skip Now we are ready to start our project. So on the bottom of that screen, you're gonna hit the plus sign and scroll all the way down to that checkered board background, which is transparent. Now you're gonna go on the bottom and hit sticker. Now for sticker, this is gonna be little things that you can add to your logo. So we are making a chef logo. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna click the word sticker again, and I'm gonna add a few different stickers for my logo. Whatever it is that you're doing, they have it on here, trust me. They have tons of options, so it's pretty cool. This app is easy to navigate, so this is why I chose this one to help you guys, beginners out there. So, yep, just choose all your stickers that you want to use for your logo, whether it's eyebrows, type in eyebrows, whether it's um, traveling, a travel agent, put in travel, airplanes, be creative. So, now I'm working on placement, on where I want my items to go, what do I want to be on top, what do I want to be more moved to the back. So, that's exactly what you want to do is move around the items and play around with it. Now click add text on the bottom and I am going to write dash by Blanco. I'm just writing whatever. I want my logo to stand out so I want it to be gold writing. However, they don't have the option of gold. So you want to choose texture on the bottom. Then you're going to choose that image. Now, I went ahead and I already went on Google and typed in gold background. And I saved a few images so I can play around with the different shades of gold. So, now we are coming to an end with this logo. I am satisfied with this right here. And now you want to hit apply and save. Next up is this logo that we will be doing right now. So I want that pink glitter effect for my wording and I am going to go on Google and type in pink glitter backgrounds. And like I said, you want to save a few options so you can play around with which one looks better for your wording. Now open up your Pixar. We're going to do the plus sign. We're going to do the checkerboard again. You guys should be used to this by now. And now we are going to go for stickers. Remember, you want to type in sticker, and I'm going to type in gold frames. Now, they have several options. I'm telling you, you could go crazy with your logo. You would probably change it so many times. <laughs> so, I'm going to choose a gold frame that stands out to me, and I like the one with the flower. That is very pretty. So, now, inside of that frame, I want to type... I'm just going to randomly type whatever that comes to mind. 
So with some logos, I usually like to see two different fonts sometimes. So let's say your brand is Liam Skin. I want that font to kind of stand out and be more elegant. So I'm going to choose this font right here. Then I'm going to put by Blanco. Now I want that font to be like, yes, very simple where people can read it. And um, yeah, so now we are just going to play around with the colors. Now, another thing that is really cool on this app um, with the colors you can choose color and then go to gradient. You can use texture and the texture, you can choose all those options. And as you see, they give a nice pretty effect as well. So I'm just showing you the options. However, we are gonna use our pink glitter background. So choose your pink glitter. And you see, I'm not really feeling that one against the frame. However, this pink glitter is very pretty because it goes with the frame. And then you play around with your colors and that's it. So you want to hit apply and save. Now, the next one, we are going to download Magic Eraser. That is the app, Magic Eraser. And you're going to choose your image that you want to stand out. So Magic Eraser erases your background in this way. I just want my picture to be here. I don't need the background. So you can just play around with those three options on the bottom to hit erase and restore just in case you erase something that should have been on the picture. Now, once you've got that photo together, we are going to save this image on the top right corner there's the little save button and we are going to save it now we are going to save it as a png file in high resolution now let's go back to our pixar and you know the routine guys let's open up the transparent background the checkered board and let's add in that photo that we just created in magic eraser app then you're going to hit effects and now the effects is just going to give it uh, that cartoon effect on a picture. That's what I want. They have several options for um, the effects. So you can play around with this app, but I'm going to show you the cartoon that I will be going for. And once you choose the effect on the top says apply and you hit apply once you know which one you want to go with now now guys you can go to the sticker because i would like to add a background against that picture so i like to use watercolors and boom this is going to be the background image on that so on the top it has the layering option and you can choose if you want to send it to the back send it to the front and i'm sending that layer to the back and then I'm going to write mommy and me or me and mommy. And you know, we can go to the different fonts, choose your font. I'm going to use this font and then I'm going to use that stroke option. That stroke option is on the bottom and that's just to give it like that shadow behind uh, the font. And this is pretty much how I do my logo. So you literally can do this at the tip of your fingers. It is not hard. Like, it's not hard at all. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And I really want you to please comment below if you found this useful. If it was confusing, let me know. Okay? I did this to help you in your business. So have a blessed.